Hey, welcome back to my channel, Ozarks Astro Photography. Today I've got a whole bunch of stuff I got in the mail from the United States Postal Service. And um, I had some problems last week. I, I finally, after about three weeks, I had a few problems. Um, set up my telescope, got everything out, finally got some clear skies. Thought I was going to get a little imaging done and do set in. Heavy, heavy do it. Might as well have been rain. Uh, it was horrible. So I decided to buy some dew bands. I was trying to use a box fan to, uh, you know, stir the air up and keep the dew from settling on the telescope and especially the finder scope, which uh, the finder scope was actually the worst. But um, yeah, it, it didn't work. So I had to go ahead and just break down and buy some dew heaters. Okay, here we got three different size dew heaters. Uh, all of these are do not dew heaters, D-E-W-N-O-T. And I've got the DN0003, which I've actually already opened. I wanted to make sure that it uh, fit my finder scope. Um, and then I've got the DN004 heater for, it says three inch eyepiece. And this is a DN005. Uh, heater for a four inch scope. Um, I'm pretty sure the DN005, the four inch scope one, is going to be what's going to fit my uh, ED80T uh, Orion scope. Uh, but I wanted to get this one just in case I didn't want a major overlap. So uh, it was, I think, around 30 bucks. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, but all this stuff from High Point Scientific as well. Absolutely. All right, so let's open the DN004 heater for a three inch eyepiece. Again, this is the Do Not brand of uh, Do Heater. Basically, it comes looking just like this. Uh, it's just kind of wrapped up. You just push the cord out of it and uh, good Velcro. And it's very good velcro uh, doesn't look like you're going to have any problems getting that to stick even if it's a little wet uh, from dew very very solid so that's nice and the dn005 is exactly the same but we'll open it up just in case they surprise me and throw a 14 inch rasa in here or something Nope, nope, it's just the dew heater. So, same thing. It just wraps around the scope. And this will plug into the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. Uh, it's got like a RCA jack end on it. And this will plug right into that uh, Pocket Power Box and hopefully make it to where I don't have to worry about any dew settling on my telescopes anymore. What we have here is the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. That's quite a mouthful. I've done like nine takes on this already. But um, this is basically what's going to run my dew heaters. It's going to give me power. It uh, gives power to several different things, but uh, dew heaters is, is one of the main things I got it for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Pull this out. And right on top we got a uh, Pegasus Astro sticker. Get it out of the light there. Looks like we got some pamphlets. Yeah, just uh, kind of showing off their different different products. Two sided, nice color pamphlets. That's kind of nice. A quick installation guide. We'll check that out here in a minute. And this looks like the power box. 
Package is in a clear plastic bag. Nice. Set that there. Ah, we've got a bunch of cables. Got the Velcro strap. If you've seen it, a lot of people use the Velcro strap. Some people use uh, just the Velcro backing. Uh, but there's the Velcro strap. Here's the uh, temp and humidity sensor. There. And then various cables. I go to it. it. Looks like it inside the box, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, I've got the pocket power box added onto the telescope. I just hooked it on with a Velcro strap to the handle here on the EQ6R. Um, I'll end up putting better Velcro on here and sticking it somewhere where it's in a better location. But right now, I've got the uh, dew heaters hooked up, but I've only turned on the one here for the finder scope. Uh, didn't really want to turn both on, there was no point. Uh, but I am getting some heat coming out of this, just enough to, to warm everything up nicely. And now I'm going to see if I can't clean some of these wires up. Okay, so once you've got everything downloaded and installed, you'll just install those, um, whatever you downloaded, you'll install it. Uh, it's pretty simple, it goes real quick. Uh, but you'll, you'll come in here and you'll open your Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box application. And you'll see you're not connected. Uh, so you'll go up to this little button right here that says Connect to Device. And you'll click that on there. Uh, it says your DC input, uh, it tells what that is, your temperature at the time, and your relative humidity down at the bottom. Uh, here's where you can turn on the quad outputs. Um, you can turn them on or you can turn them off. Uh, the DSLR output, same way. I don't have either one of these working right now with anything. I plan on using them to delete some wires later, uh, but right now I'll probably just keep them off. Uh, if you've got your dew heater plugged in, you can go ahead and turn it on by either sliding the slider, uh, you can control it uh, pretty much to any temperature you would like with using the slider. You can set it to auto do function and that will use the uh, temp and humidity sensor to automatically turn it on when the temperature has fell below the dew point and that will kick those heaters on and keep everything dew free. Or you can go on here and you can push everything full or everything back off. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. Very easy, easy to work program. Uh, they do give you a couple of graphs here. Uh, this shows your temperature and dew point. Um, I'm inside the house right now, so it's a long ways away. But if I was outside, the dew point would probably be above the temperature. Um, it'll also show your relative humidity down here. You can go over here to your power graph and it'll show you what your input voltage is and how it's being consumed. And then you can go to the settings and you can either connect or disconnect the port here. Uh, these are packets being sent back and forth. Um, LED indicator, you can turn it on or off. Uh, you can change your units to metric or imperial. And you can reboot the controller with that button right there and you can change how you want it to start up whenever you uh, first get it up and running each time either all outputs on all outputs off or you can just turn the DSLR output on or just the 12 volt 4 outputs on uh, I would probably leave it to all on or all off just depending but if, if you wanted to you could change that once you're done for the night you can come over here and just disconnect by pushing that same button and it shuts everything off then you can disconnect it except for the power to the uh, EQR6 except for the power to the EQ6R okay I've got the Pegasus Astro pocket power box gotta look at the camera Don installed onto the back of the telescope here I've just kind of got it, uh, it just kind of moves around a little bit. I'm looking at the dad blasted 
Take 22. Okay, I've got the pocket power box added onto the telescope here. Uh, just kind of got it dangling. Uh, it's velcroed on with the strap. I'll, I'll... Take 23. Alright, I've got the Pegasus Astro pocket power box. <laughs> okay, I've got the at... I, I, why can't I say that? Okay, I've got the pocket... Blah! Blah! <clears throat> Pegasus Astro pocket power box. Okay, I've got the Pegasus Astro pocket power... <laughs> this is re Okay, I've got the pa the oh my god, seriously. Okay, I've got the pocket power box installed onto the telescope. Got that taken care of, and uh, I'm learning to say pocket power box. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the little bell to get notified of future videos.